Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing with some forgotten win condition in the game. Obviously there are some players that play Robo Loon combo which is very popular uh, for a balloon to appear but I'm gonna be playing uh, something different. I'm gonna be playing a uh, deck where a balloon is a star. It's like the main character. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually play a, a bomb tower here because I don't see reason why I shouldn't. Uh, yeah, this gunner is dead unfortunately, but uh, f maybe for a greater cause. Maybe I should have just protected her, but it doesn't really matter. For a first play, as now, as now I know what my opponent, King with 25 medals, uh, is up to. Uh, he's gonna be playing actually very... I frankly have no idea what he's playing, but we'll figure it out later on. I'm gonna play Swordsman here, uh, followed up with a Gunner. My opponent will try to set up a first uh, Dark Knight push of his uh, of his game. Uh, let's try to make it not successful for him. I'm gonna play Digger on defense because, yeah, this Swordsman, uh, if it uh, survived one more hit, I think I would have been fine, but I wanted to just preserve my Gunner to, for it to be alive. I think that's pretty much self-explanatory. So I had to sacrifice one digger for the team, played some more defense, and hopefully right now I can just get away with playing skeletons on these twins. I cannot. Well, that's on me. I should have respected his twins uh, a bit more. And right now I think, uh, even though I've taken some damage, I think it's a good uh, uh, idea to just play balloon. He's gonna play some uh, skeleton horde, which I don't think uh, is a good response to a balloon since it flies and skeletons unfortunately can hit only ground. So my balloon will get two hits which is absolutely sufficient to equalize the game and actually put me in the lead, which is very cool. I'm gonna play some uh, defense now. Okay, non-bomb blasters will connect which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna play a Swordsman on this uh, Footman, I'm gonna play Gunner here. And right now we br basically set up another push with the Balloon. So I'm gonna just play... Uh, yeah, he plays Lightning and that's definitely not a play that you want to make at the stage of the game. I'm gonna play Blitz just to kill the Skeleton Horde, allow Digger to tank a bit more for the Balloon uh, once again. I'm gonna play actually another Balloon because I don't think... I mean... At this point, uh, any play I do will be winning, uh, so I've just decided to go for a kill and basically uh, make my opponent resign faster. Uh, he won't resign, unfortunately, he's gonna defend it, uh, but doesn't really matter, we take the dub with the two towers and my opponent, uh, King, will have to rethink his deck choice because it uh, just lost to a most forgotten win condition in the game, what uh, else can I say? Let's jump to the next game, shall we? And in the next game we're gonna actually be facing an emote guy, so uh, how I know he's an emote guy, he uh, most likely have used an emote in his nickname, but since uh, the Boom Arena phone doesn't support emotes, uh, he gets just this uh, funny rectangle on his name and uh, we're gonna be known him as a Mr. Emote. I'm gonna actually go for a balloon here just to get to know his uh, defenses against a uh, balloon. He's gonna be playing a bomb tower and a stone phone, so already I can tell he's gonna be playing a Remy Alley deck, although he's gonna be playing with a blitz, so uh, he played a blitz to allow my, uh, I mean, his bomb blasters to bomb blaster to connect. Also he's gonna be playing a Devil, so that's gonna be an interesting combo as well. I predict he's gonna be playing some tricky card right here with these Devils, no? Okay. That works for me as well. I'm gonna play Gunner on the opposite lane to force uh, him to fight on the opposite lane, as fighting uh, on the lane where I'm weaker is usually not a way to go for a cycle decks. Right now I'm gonna just try to uh, defend uh, Coming onslaught once again, he uses the uh, blitz uh, to allow his uh, uh, to allow his uh, bomb blaster to connect. This time, I'm gonna use blitz as well, also aggressively to allow my gunner to uh, deal more damage. Definitely worth it, if you ask me. I'm gonna actually play footman keck. I think I should have played this one instead of skeletons, but it doesn't really matter. At least now we know what his deck is like. He's gonna be playing a uh, 
a digger cycle with like uh, a lot of swarmy cards, so like uh, stone fawns, bone blasters, uh, devils, this kind of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna play Gunner once again on his opposite side because obviously if you're down uh, on damage on one side, you shouldn't be going into that side. You should be going on the opposite side to uh, maximize your chance of winning. This time I'm actually catching his digger perfectly. He's gonna get a blitz to allow his digger to get some damage, but like I've said, it doesn't really matter. Uh, since I'm gonna just uh, get a cleanup and that's uh, enough for me. I'm gonna actually get some uh, plays right here. He gets once again a blitz, which... Uh, he actually gets a good value out of his blitzes, so I'm not gonna like to uh, complain too much about them. I'm gonna play some gunner in the back once again. I actually force out him playing a rolling steel here, so definitely a good trade. I'm gonna play skeletons on his digger. He instantly blitzes it, so uh, yeah, uh, that's not gonna be too. I'm not too happy to see it. I'm gonna play uh, uh, gunner to counter these devils and right now I actually want to go for a digger and then for the balloon and that's gonna be a very hard push for him to stop at least I think so okay he uses blitz which actually may seal the deal because right now I don't see myself ever getting a damage with the balloon like it's I won't say a balloon is bad because it works in a flying robot but like at the same time as a long win condition it's so tough to break through with it uh, I'm gonna play with just Footman Keg. No reason to risk it. I'm gonna play a Digger here. Uh, gonna play some Skeletons. I'm gonna play a Blitz. Maybe to allow a one Balloon hit. If I get a Balloon hit, it's basically game over. And I, d I, I forgot how to speak English. And I do. And that's gonna be GG's. Very nice win from behind. For a whole game, he was just pressuring our right side tower over and over again. And at last we get a final shot of the balloon and the game turns 180 degrees. So very nice game uh, to uh, follow up our video. I wouldn't say my... actually, yeah. That was a nice game to start the video. Let's jump to the game number three. And right now we're gonna be facing Totobak200 who uh, has zero ML, so it's very high chance that he's gonna be playing a default deck, but you never know. We're gonna just cycle some cycle cards, and he actually plays Swordsman, so it means that my opponent actually uh, created his deck instead of using a default one. Uh, I'm gonna just cycle cards because, uh, frankly, I'm still kind of scared of what he can pull uh, out of his pocket. So I'll play a Bomb Tower, so... Uh, one thing I'm gonna try to guess is that he's uh, playing a Remy LE deck as well. And there we go. Everything is uh, kinda suggesting that option. Unfortunately, he can activate a Viking Tower with this balloon, and he will. Uh, very nice play out of him, which will actually make my uh, defenses very weird. He actually calls me noob out of uh, nowhere, I would say. Uh, very impolite play indeed, but uh, yeah, we're gonna just uh, basically try to outplay this guy, so we're gonna just uh, reset. I don't think the pushing into a piercing archery is a good thing to do. I'm gonna just play bo uh, Gunner in the back. He's gonna actually play a, uh, a Super Ape, so that's the thing I didn't expect that. Uh, didn't expect, well, grammar. Uh, I'm gonna just cycle to my uh, swordsman and then play balloon because I basically in this matchup have to be the aggressive one. If uh, my opponent ever gets uh, the aggression going, I pretty much cannot stop him because his cycle is faster. Uh, so I, uh, like I've said, uh, have to be the aggressive one. And right now I'm gonna actually get a death damage on his tower, which is very huge because uh, in this matchup he has both building and cycle against my balloon, which means I will uh, very likely not be able to like uh, get a consistent connections so death damage will be uh, absolutely appreciated i'm gonna play bomb tower i wonder what he what's gonna be the spell of his choice uh, earthquake interesting earthquake to say the least i'm gonna play some balloon followed up with the digger my opponent should be uh, <coughs> 
ready with a uh, cyclone and there we go i probably could have just uh, blitzed a, a bomb tower and i should have been a better play but at the same time who really knows my bomb tower was a uh, having enough HP to just survive Earthquake, which is absolutely brilliant. I don't think I should be committing into uh, this uh, bridge fight. And, and maybe I should, actually. I don't see him uh, getting too cocky here as well. I'm gonna play a deer tank for the balloon. My balloon actually will skip, so he'll have to spend a cyclone on defense and every cyclone that he spends on defense he cannot use on offense so that's gonna be absolutely fantastic uh, news for me i'm gonna play a bomb tower to defend the super ape and unfortunately he cannot break it even with eq i'm gonna play musket uh, the gunner uh, to predict his piercing archer i don't get a prediction but i get a gunner against a bomb tower which is absolutely brilliant uh, i'm gonna get a blitz on this piercing archer because i think that yeah that's gonna be 100 death drop but it could have been a hit, so he had to be a bit careful about it. I'm gonna play uh, Bomb Tower here. Unfortunately, I don't catch an Ice Tiny uh, uh, with my... Uh, uh, yeah, I don't catch Ice Tiny with my uh, Footman Keg, but it turned out to be fine. Uh, at, at the end of the day, I end up being up damage because I was the aggressive one, I was getting these balloon death drops over and over again, uh, digger chips, like every single damage that I could and my opponent wasn't just uh, able to break through my defenses, so yeah, that's gonna be the game number, uh, oh my god, was it 3 or 4, I, I, I don't mind, I'm gonna just play 2 more games and wrap, the, maybe 1 game, I don't know, uh, and wrap this video up, so yeah, stand by. Okay, so I've just checked a footage and actually uh, we are just three games into the video and that means obviously that I owe you uh, two more games and uh, my opponent will be once again Saket who will be absolutely trying his best to uh, avoid any complications with my balloon. Uh, that was a cute defense out of him. I'm gonna try to defend his flying robot as well by playing a gunner. There should be uh, no problem at all. I'm gonna play a bomb tower to kite his balloon. And uh, yeah, after that, we're gonna basically try to uh, defend. It's gonna be a very nice hold. I don't think I even get a depth damage, but obviously some pop damage will come, so that kinda sucks. I don't really mind it though. Uh, my gunner should be cleaned up by his swordsman. <coughs> Maybe he'll even suck it. Okay. Uh, here comes the swordsman, so uh, as predicted, it's gonna be a correct call. Right now, the game plan against a flying robot will be basically to counterplay every single time uh, that he's gonna play it. Uh, and there we go. I hope my skeletons will like distract uh, his super devil from hitting bone. And there we go. That's gonna be one hit. I think that's gonna be two hits. And okay, if the super devil were to hit a uh, skeleton. It would have been a 3 hits and a tower down, but unfortunately we're gonna have to uh, work with uh, what we have. I'm gonna play Bomb Tower here to Kaidi Balloon, obviously the uh, good and uh, reliable way of dealing with that. I'm gonna try to uh, get this Balloon before it reaches the tower and I actually get because actually in this game uh, it's an unfortunate interaction for him. If you uh, stun some, uh, I mean, if you knock back some troop, it counts as a stun as well. So my uh, gunner rig targeted today balloon. That's a very unfortunate interaction for him, as I uh, know that he would love uh, this gunner to still be locked uh, at the uh, 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 at the uh, flying robot. So yeah, I'm gonna actually get this tower down here because even though he can. Actually, he won't even stop a hit, so uh, this is gonna be a beautiful uh, resolution for this uh, situation. I'm gonna block this bomber because obviously uh, I don't want to go into any of these complications. I'm gonna play a blitz to just stop this balloon from reaching the tower. I, uh, I, he's gonna get a very aggressive right here, so I'm gonna just play bomb tower on this and basically try to hold it. And if I do, we're gonna be absolutely uh, chilling because right now I just play gunner, uh, I just play bomb tower and 
In terms of attack, our deck may not be the best, but in terms of defense, it can pretty much hold anything, and uh, my opponent caused me lucky for whatever reason. I was absolutely in control of this game, and it was him that was kind of unlucky that he received some uh, two uh, balloon hits that uh, shouldn't ever happen, but at the same time, I played these skeletons uh, in order to get these two hits, so I think it was like luck generated by my good play. So yeah, that's gonna be game number four. Let's jump to the last game of today's video. And the last game of today's video will be against Ala Mohama, who is gonna be playing a Footman Hut at 16 medal range. Very interesting indeed. Uh, Footman Hut basically is one of these neglected cards that basically no one uses uh, uh, nowadays because uh, even though it has some niche usages, it basically is uh, absolutely outshined by its competitors, which is Fawn Hut. Uh, which is canon basically better picks uh, than the footman hat because uh, yeah it, it doesn't like serve uh, like a super role that uh, can bring you a lot of value it usually is a sitting dog because you're playing like a building which provides you with three footmen for four mana which is like not perfect but there are some players that use it, for instance, it can be like good in certain matchups, especially in like best of three dual set. If you use cannon and phone hut, you usually can like slap a uh, 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 this uh, foot one hut into some decks if you kind of feel comfortable with this. I'm gonna actually protect this balloon. I kinda was just about to do it but at the same time we protect the gunner which is as good as protecting balloon maybe not as good but we get a lot of damage from her and that's definitely something to uh, brag about uh, i'm gonna counter the swordsman with skeletons i think it should be sufficient there should be no tricks uh, in up his sleeve unless he like freezes the tower but like it's very unlikely and it would have been not worth it for him because I was always ready with a footman keg. So, uh, gonna be playing a drunk loon. That's gonna be his plan of taking my tower. Uh, it's always uh, good to know what your opponent plan is because uh, uh, you can always prepare against that. And now I know my opponent is playing drunk loon, I can already starting to uh, prepare some uh, plans against it. So uh, I'm gonna actually get a digger against this piercing archer, which was absolutely perfect, as my bone will connect and uh, rain terror uh, across uh, his um, position. I'm gonna play a uh, footman keg to counter his piercing archer. Unfortunately, he was fast enough to protect it with swordsman, but I don't think he's gonna uh, ever come back into this game uh, because of how bad of a position he has found uh, himself in. I'm gonna play Digger here, actually. It was very unfortunate that I've played it directly into uh, my opponent's Swordsman, but it doesn't really matter since the game is over anyway. We're gonna just play Balloon Skeletons, say once more good game, and that's gonna be also a wrap for today's video. So uh, that's basically why no one plays a, uh, a Balloon Cycle decks. It's very difficult to play, and there are way uh, better decks that like uh, are easier to play and uh, score better in uh, current meta. So if you want to play it, I don't advise you, but uh, you can like train your micro and stuff. You can check it out basically, but there's a video. Uh, if you enjoyed it though, uh, thank you for watching till the end. Yeah. Uh, like always, I'm gonna obviously self-advertise myself that uh, if you enjoy this video, you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, but it's kinda true. If you enjoy my content, you want to subscribe to not miss out uh, any new content. Maybe I'm gonna do a deck on your, f I mean, the video on your favorite deck. And if you want me to actually do it, let me down in the comments down below because I check them and uh, the next video may be about your deck, you never know. And yeah, with that being said, thanks for watching till the end. Once again, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Marina.